Hello. Please hit like button and subscribe my channel. Also press bell icon for future video notifications. Thanks. The Gujarata skipper, Sne Rana is down for a quick chat. Rana says that it was not the result they wanted but they will come back stronger. Adds that she likes to lead the team and she gave her best, and she is really proud of her team. She says that the dew played a major role in the game and it was difficult to grip the ball. Ends by saying that they will come back stronger in the next game. Earlier in the game, Sne Rana the stand-in skipper for Gujarat won the toss and opted to bat first and after a good start, they lost their way a bit in the middle overs. Harleen Diol though picked up the mantle and got away crucial boundaries to get their innings running. The likes of Ashley Gardner and Dayalan Himalata hit a few lusty blows at the back end to take the final score to 169 which was defendable. For UP, the spin twins, Deepthi Sharma and Sophie Eccleston picked up a couple of wickets each and were economical as well. Coming to the chase, for a large part of it, Gujarat looked in control but Grace Harris played a blinder to turn the game on its head. Disappointed with the loss, but proud of the girls, especially after last night's loss. Kim gave away a lot of boundaries in the last over, we lost there. Girls have played well, we were ready for the challenge, proud of them. I enjoyed my leadership, I enjoy being the leader. When you have responsibility you get to enjoy it. The girls fought really hard today. The dew plays a major role when you feel second, it's difficult to grip the ball, but that is how it is. Gujarat giant stand-in skipper Sne Rana Gujarat went through all the emotions in this game and in the end, they will be even more hurt than they were after losing their first game because they had this one in the bag and they let it slip. Kim Garth was simply sensational up front picking up three wickets in her opening over itself and the other bowlers then made sure that the soccering rate was kept in check. Garth then came back in the middle phase to pick up a couple of more wickets and put Gujarat in command with a five-wicket haul. It all went haywire towards the end as the likes of Ashley Gardner, Annabelle Sutherland and Garth herself conceded boundaries at an hemorrhaging rate and ended up losing the game. UP didn't have the best of starts as there was less cohesion between their openers, Alyssa Healy and Shweta Seherawit. Soon they found themselves three down inside the power play and needed a steady stand from somewhere. Kiran Navgire and Deepti Sharma did well to get the scoreboard going with the former injecting a bit of pace into the innings. Navgire went on to score a half century but UP once again lost wickets in a hurry. It was then an unreal 70-run stand between Grace Harris and Sophie Eccleston of just 26 balls in which the Aussie power hitter smashed the opposition bowlers toward the end to get up's campaign underway in some fashion. Are you not entertained? Grace Harris pulls UP from deep within the trenches and seals a sensational comeback victory. It is only the third game of the tournament but what a memorable one this has been. Gujarat seemed to be cruising to a win but Grace Harris and Sophie Eccleston had other ideas. There was drama in the final over but in the end, Gujarat succumbed to a second defeat on the trot. It's all over. UP Warriors, 175 sevenths in 19. 5 overs, beat Gujarat Giants, 169 sixths, by 3 wickets in a thriller 4. 50. Grace Harris, 53, races to 50 of just 25 balls UP 169 sevenths in 19. 4 overs, need 1 of 2 balls Annabelle Sutherland to Grace Harris, 6. Grace Harris you beauty. A low full toss, on off, Grace Harris shuffles across and flicks it over deep backward square leg for a maximum. UP have done it. They win by 3 wickets.
Annabel Sutherland to Grace Harris, MISFILDN4. 50 up for Grace Harris. Has this cost the game for Gujarat now? Fuller and outside off, Grace Harris slices it over covers. The fielder fumbles to stop it as the ball races away from the fence. Two runs needed off the final delivery. 4. Grace Harris, 49, smashes Annabel Sutherland straight down the ground for a 4 UP 164 sevenths in 19. 3 overs, need 6 off 3 balls Annabel Sutherland to Grace Harris, wide. On a length and outside off, Grace Harris looks to slap it but misses. Grace Harris goes upstairs to check a possible wide ball now. The court behind is checked as well but there is no spike on ultra edge. The third umpire deems that the ball is just angling away from the tram line outside off and the on-field decision is overturned. Five needed now off three balls. Annabel Sutherland to Grace Harris, 4. What a knock this has been from Grace Harris. Fuller and on off, Grace Harris lofts it over mid off for a boundary. She moves to 49. Just 6 runs needed from 3 deliveries now. Annabel Sutherland to Grace Harris, it is getting really nervy out there. A low full toss, on off, Grace Harris flicks it to deep mid wicket. The fielder stops it well and throws it to the bowler's end. Sophie Eccleston dropped her bat on the halfway and it was a run-out chance but the bowler failed to grab the ball and the batters complete their two runs. Don't miss anything. Subscribe to our newsletter and get all the stories that matter delivered to your inbox invalid id. Please enter again right then. 12 needed now off 5 balls. Which way will this game go? 6. Grace Harris, 43, smokes Annabel Sutherland over deep mid-wicket for a 6 UP 157 sevenths in 19. 1 overs, need 13 of 5 balls Annabel Sutherland to Grace Harris, wide. Lands it wide outside off, Grace Harris looks to play at it but misses. There's a bit of halt in the play and the umpires are having a bit of discussion with the Gujarat skipper Snerana. Grace Harris isn't pleased with the break in play and neither is Sophie Eccleston. The stoppage is due to a review taken for a wide call and it is being checked for a long time. The third umpire concludes that the ball is just outside the tram line and the wide will be stay as it is. Annabel Sutherland to Grace Harris, 6. What a start to the over. On a length and outside off, Grace Harris picks it well and pulls it over deep mid-wicket as the ball sails into the stands. Pressure on Annabel Sutherland now. Annabel Sutherland, 3-0-17-1, to bowl the final over. Can she defend 18 runs? Ashley Gardner to Grace Harris, flatter 1, on off, Grace Harris works it towards mid-wicket for 1. 19 needed off the final over now. 6. Sophie Eccleston, 19 asterisk off 10, smokes Ashley Gardner over backward square leg for a big 6 UP 147 sevenths in 18. 3 overs, need 23 off 9 balls Ashley Gardner to Sophie Eccleston, a low full toss, on off, Sophie Eccleston lofts it towards long on for 1. Ashley Gardner to Sophie Eccleston, bowls it on off, Sophie Eccleston drills it towards long off for a brace. Ashley Gardner to Sophie Eccleston, 6. My oh my, fuller and on middle, Sophie Eccleston hangs back and flicks it over deep square leg for a maximum. 23 needed now. Ashley Gardner to Sophie Eccleston, fuller again, outside off, Sophie Eccleston drills it to long on. The fielder makes an excellent stop at the fence. They collect 2. Ashley Gardner to Sophie Eccleston, 2 full and on off. Sophie Eccleston drills it to long on for a brace. Ashley Gardner, 3-0-20-0, to bowl the penultimate over of the chase. Kim Garth to Sophie Eccleston, slower and on off, Sophie Eccleston drills it towards long on for one. 33 needed now off 12 balls. Boom, 4, 4, 
4 Grace Harris, 35 asterisk of 19, smashes back-to-back 3 falls off Kim Garth UP 134 sevenths in 17. 5 overs Kim Garth to Grace Harris, a high full toss, Grace Harris pulls it towards deep square leg. The fielder Sofia Dunkley takes a catch but it won't count as the umpire signals this as a no ball. The batters cross for a run as well. Free hit coming up. Kim Garth to Grace Harris, 4 again. Cheeky from Grace Harris this time. Lands it on a length and on leg. Grace Harris shuffles across and scoops it over short fine leg for a boundary. Kim Garth to Grace Harris, 4 more. Grace Harris is in a different mood. Fuller and on off, Grace Harris drills it down the ground through long off for another boundary. Kim Garth to Grace Harris, 4. Fine shot. Slower and some width to offer, Grace Harris picks it well and slaps it through point for a boundary. 6. Grace Harris, 23. Smokes Tanuja Kanwar over deep mid-wicket for a big 6 UP 117 sevenths in 17 overs, need 53 of 18 balls Kim Garth to Sophie Eccleston, Fuller and on off, Sophie Eccleston eases it to short covers for 1. Kim Garth to Sophie Eccleston, 4. On the charge, Fuller and on off, Sophie Eccleston picks it well and heaves it over mid-wicket for a 1 bounce boundary. Tanuja cover to Grace Harris, 6. All the way. Another full toss, on off, Grace Harris moves forward and pulls it over mid-wicket for a biggie. UP needs more of these. Tanuja cover to Sophie Eccleston, full toss again, on middle, Sophie Eccleston tucks it to mid-wicket for 1. Tanuja cover to Grace Harris, a low full toss, on leg, Grace Harris drills it down to long on for 1. Tanuja cover to Sophie Eccleston, lands it on off, Sophie Eccleston works it to deep mid-wicket for 1. Tanuja cover to Sophie Eccleston, bowls it fuller, keeps it outside off, Sophie Eccleston taps it to the point fielder. Tanuja cover to Grace Harris, 2 full, and on off, Grace Harris digs it to backward square leg for a single. Annabelle Sutherland to Grace Harris, slightly shorter and on off, Grace Harris pulls it to square leg for 1. Annabelle Sutherland to Sophie Eccleston, touch fuller and on off, Sophie Eccleston drills it to long off for 1. Out. Annabelle Sutherland strikes to dismiss Devaka Vedya, 4, UP 105 sevens in 15. 4 overs, need 65 of 26 balls strategic break. With 65 runs needed of 26 balls and just 3 wickets in hand, UP will need a huge effort from Grace Harris to take them over the line. Gujarat have been brilliant with the ball and even though their fielding has been a bit sloppy, they have taken their catches and can now sense the finish line getting closer. Will we see something dramatic at the back end? Also, Sophie Eccleston walks out to bat now. Annabelle Sutherland to Devaka Vedya, out. Taken. Another one bites the dust. This one lands fuller and outside off, Devaka Vedya looks to loft it but mistimes her stroke. It goes up in the air towards mid-off. Dayalan Himalata runs forward and takes an excellent catch with her both hands. UP goes 7 down and they are in a huge trouble now. Annabelle Sutherland to Grace Harris. This one lands on off. Grace Harris taps it to covers for 1. Annabelle Sutherland to Grace Harris. 4. Too full and on off, Grace Harris picks it well and lofts it over the bowler's head for a boundary. Annabelle Sutherland to Grace Harris, fuller and on off, Grace Harris guides it to the point fielder. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more sports updates.